So guys, I am back with another Cyberpunk 2077 video and today we go over the entire hotfix and what it does. This hotfix is actually live now for PC and PlayStation consoles. For Xbox, they are still working on it, but expect that to arrive pretty soon. Now the source is cyberpunk.net, I will link it within the video description, but within this video today we go through the entire thing. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So getting into it, new hotfix to Cyberpunk 2077 is now live on PlayStation consoles and PC. For Xbox systems we are working to have the update out as soon as possible. Here is the list of changes, starting with quests. Fixed an issue with completing the final objective in Geek, Freedom of the Press. Fixed an issue with starting conversation with Johnny at the end of the live during wartime. Corrected a rare issue with NPCs no longer calling V if a like for Supreme Quest was abandoned midway. Fixed an issue with Nyx not going into his default state in Sparbound and Cold Mirage. Fixed issues blocking progress in Fort the Law if the quest area is left. Fixed inability to find Delamain in Epis Trophy. Fixed issues related to remaining in the second phase of the quest after finishing Pacifica fight with Ozob in Played after finals. Fixed an issue with Nomads no longer present if V leaves the quest area mid combat in life with a little help from my friends slash queen of the highway. Adjusted mappings and re enabled quest tracker in map 10 Pelen and I walk the line slash transmission. Fixed constraints of freedom to get up and sit down if neither blue line condition is met in violence. Fixed issues with time and space resulting from leaving a quest area or abandoning the quest in following the river. Fixed an issue with conversation with Johnny not starting after leaving the hotel in Tapeworm. Fixed an issue with quest being blocked upon leaving the area before climbing the hill in following the river. Fix the objective, go into booth 9, not completing if the rooms entered too fast in automatic love. Fix Jackie's issue with sitting still in Ripperdock, other quests fixes. Gameplay, fix the preview in weapon crafting. Visuals, reduce vehicle appearance popping. Speeded up switching first person perspective to third person perspective in a vehicle. Fixed issues with animations missing from important quest NPCs during cinematics. Performance and stability guides. Improved stability including various crash fixes. Miscellaneous. Modified the flashing effect on brain dances to reduce the risk of including epileptic symptoms. This effect has been smoothed out and the flashes have been reduced in frequency and magnitude. Remove copyright songs incorrectly present in the game with disabled copyright music feature toggled on. PC specific here. Switching language to default in the in-game settings now correctly sets it to the language of your Steam client. Console specific. Improve reflection quality on Xbox One and PS4 to eliminate the smudge effect. Fix the wasteland achievement being stuck at 97% after completing all relevant missions in the Badlands on Xbox. And fixed an issue with missing PTBRVO for Xbox players in America. And guys, that is it for this hotfix of 1.04. Like I said, it is live now for PlayStation consoles and PC. And for Xbox, which is what I am on, we will have to wait. But as soon as that information is dropped, guys, if you follow me on Twitter, I will update you there. Or you can always join my Discord link below. But yes, guys, let me know what you think about this down below in that comment section. I think there's plenty more things that need fixing. I mean, the game's amazing, but there's still plenty of bugs that have not been mentioned here, which I'm guessing they will work on or will probably arrive in a future patch, but we will see. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it really helps out. Remember, subscribe for daily cyberpunk videos, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.